Welcome to Back Alley Bowling. Did you bring your own head or do you want to rent one? You can't play the game without a head. What is this place? What does it look like? It's a bowling alley. Only better. We, uh, liberated it from the previous owners. Some raider crew from the west side. Funny thing is, my cousin was part of their gang. And the funnier thing is, I didn't realize it until I was using that big old nose of his to pick up a 7-10 split. In fact, I bowled a 260 that day. I've been using Johnny as my personal ball ever since. Game? What do you mean? The game is bowling. As for the heads, well, as you can see, we don't use balls here. I mean, we tried, but it was boring as fuck. But one day, I cut off this thief's head and bowled it into his partner trying to escape. And with that, a new sport was born. You have some kind of problem with shoplifters? Not since I started killing them. Now I have the opposite problem. I don't have enough heads to roll. Anything I can do to help out? As a matter of fact, there is. We're in need of some new balls. Some of them are starting to go bad. The smaller sizes I can take care of. But for our larger customers, I need a big head. Something that will hit those pins like it owed them money. As for where you can find one, well, I used to know a caravan trader named Bruce. Guy was strung out on buff out. Shrunken testicles and everything. But it ain't his jockstrap that interests me. It's his head. Any idea where he might have gone? Yeah, the other day I heard him and some heavy lifters were living in an old shack to the west of here. See, buff out swells your head like nobody's business. And I'm thinking one of them fiends has a melon worth bowling with. I want you to find me the biggest head in the bunch, whether it's Bruce's or one of his pals. Sure, why not? Great. You bring me that head, and I'll make sure you get paid. Hey. Got the head I asked for? So, what's your story? What are you doing out here? I'm in charge. That's all you need to know. Not right now. All right. Lanes are open if you change your mind.
Welcome, Pilgrim, to the house of Bruce. Bruce? Who's that? Bruce was once a great leader of the baseballers. In the time before the Great War, he was a swatting prodigy, whose hat size was said to be in an unimaginable number. We thought he was forever lost to the Great Hall of Cooperstown, but according to legend, he left his head behind to be worn by another, a new Bruce, reborn. What do you mean by that? A reincarnation of their god, apparently. And by god, they mean a man who is very good at hitting balls with a stick. But please, tell us more about your new Bruce. Long ago, there was a prophecy that spoke of a baseballer who would splinter the curse of the Sultan Bambino. We've given the hat to many pilgrims in hopes that one would fit. Then, like the free agents of yore, a worthy head found its way to the sacred locker room. You know you're completely nuts, right? What this man knows would fill an entire thimble, so I doubt he knows anything of the insanity he speaks. I know that a prophecy was made, and a prophecy fulfilled, and soon, the Bambino's curse will be splintered. To deny this reality is true insanity. What's your movement all about? We have the same goal as all men, to round the bases. From first base, we hope to reach second, and from second, we'll move on to third. Only then will the gates of home open, and our numbers will ascend to the scoreboard in the sky. And when the official scorer marks us down in his ethereal book, the curse of the dreaded Sultan will finally be broken. What's with the outfit? We wear the uniform of the classic baseballer. They were great military warriors, the first in recorded history to discover the potency of buff out on the battlefield. We honor them by wearing their jerseys and socks, stained red with the blood of their enemies. Is there anything I can do to help out? Indeed there is. New Bruce doesn't accept his fate as the one manager. He doesn't understand he's not himself, but another from long ago. He's the reincarnation of Bruce the Bat, and he will lead us to victory over the devils in blue pinstripes. When the Great War came, the cowards in blue pinstripes fled to underground vaults. Excuse me. We wear red socks to fight against the blue pinstripes and their wicked sultan. There are many names etched in the granite walls of Cooperstown. Knights who fought with wooden clubs. The only two seasons, winter and baseball. Batista, 316. Hey there. When you die, the sacred box score will give you a final account. It can tell no lie, but it does not tell all. To turn a double plays to kill two baseballers <clears throat> with one stone. The war between the Americans and the Nationals often hinged on the use of a designated baseman, who was allowed to replace an injured soldier in the field. The wall has stopped many an opponent from rounding the bases. <clears throat> Bruce shall lead us into the fight against the Blue Ones. Hi. Hey, you gotta let me out of here. These people are nuts. Please, you gotta do something. Pick the lock, melt the bars, anything. Please. God. Remind me to bar my door. Oh no, they're coming up. for us. Stop her. Protect Bruce at all costs. Heads up. Incoming. Son of a bitch. Ah!
got your back. my life whoa you're safe calm down you want me to calm down do you have any idea what they were about to do to me I mean I can't say for sure it was gonna be bad but I can tell just by looking at him it wasn't gonna be good and yet judging by the rigor mortis I doubt they'll be harming anyone else what happened to you how long have you been locked up in here a few months back my caravan got hit by raiders I was lucky to get out alive, but I used my last bottle of buff out to outrun them. I needed more before I could go back out there, and I heard this place had it cheap. When I got here, first thing those freaks did was make me try on their magic hat. I thought it was some sort of stupid initiation thing. But when the hat fit, they locked me up, saying I was some reincarnation of their god. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. Can't go back to Diamond City. Reminds me too much of baseball. Either way, thanks. <clears throat> After what I've been through, I could use a few drinks. Got the head I asked for? Here you go. Holy shit, is that who I think it is? Looks like old Brucey finally found his calling in life. And for your trouble, here. A few caps and one special gift. A lane named in your honor. Lane three ought to do, or should I say, lane you! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, and of course, you're welcome back anytime. I like strange. Come back hey, here for a game. Here you go. Now that is a head that can crush some pins. Good job. And for your trouble, here, a few caps and one special gift. A lane named in your honor. Lane three ought to do, or should I say, lane you? <laughs> uh, and of course, you're welcome back anytime. Hey there. There's a job polishing heads too. Um, not that kind of head. You know what I mean. No, no homo. Glad you got that head. For a second, I thought the pen was gonna take mine. What? Who are you people, exactly? Well, we're not a gang of scavs or raiders or all of the above, if that's what you mean. Pen's the boss, but a name only. If you haven't figured it out, Teddy's the resident creep. Strike's all right. Worthless, but all right. Point is, only thing we got in common is this bowling alley. And you are? The name's Washout. It's bowling lingo. You either get it or you don't. Makes no difference to me. What can you tell me about this place? It's a bowling alley. We bowl heads. That makes us athletes. Or murderers, depending on if you want to live. I don't have any more questions. See ya. Hey, Mom. If you need fixing, I got meds. And if you need a fix, I got some for that, too. Let's see what you have. Got all the kicks for your fix. Hi. Nice work getting that head for the boss. Real smooth. So what do you do here? I sell good vibes and good times. As for the others, Teddy hangs and wash out clangs. Pin, he runs the joint. Best not get on his bad side. Of course, if you haven't noticed, the big man is a straight up circle. He's only got one side. How'd you end up here? Sorry, baby. 
I may be an open book, but every word is in another language. It's the language of the soul, you dig? You needed to get a little higher to read it. I'll think about it. Stay cool. Hey there. Hey. With the head on, I can make eye contact with people. Although they aren't really 